Today, we're going to learn how to write a recursive formula for an arithmetic sequence. A recursive formula is a rule where all terms of the sequence are defined using a previous term or terms. Look at this notation. a sub n is any term in the sequence. a sub n minus 1 is the previous term. And a sub n plus 1 is the next term. To get you to see this better, I'm going to use an example of a sub n as a sub 6. If this is a sub 6, my next term would be a sub 6 plus 1 or a sub 7. My previous term, a sub 6 minus 1, which would be a sub 5. Now we can see that we have three consecutive terms. Now let's look at how we would write any recursive formula. We would start out with a sub 1 is equal to the first term. Then we would write a recursive formula for a sub n. a sub n, any term in the sequence, would be equal to a sub n minus 1, which we said is our previous term, plus d, and d is going to be our common difference. Let's look at this example. I'm going to label my terms. This is a sub 1, a sub 2, a sub 3, and a sub 4. I first need to find what is my common difference. From 9 to 14, I added 5. From 14 to 19, I added 5. From 19 to 24, I added 5. 5 is my common difference. Now when we're writing the recursive formula, the first thing I'm going to do is write a sub 1. a sub 1 is equal to 9. Then I'm going to write a recursive rule for a sub n. a sub n is equal to a sub n minus 1, which is our previous term, plus our difference of 5. And that's our recursive formula. And what it means is that we start with 9, and then every other term past that, for instance, 14, I take the term before, which is 9, and add 5 to it. Let's look at this sequence. From 2 to a negative 3, I had to subtract 5. From 3 to a negative 8, I had to subtract 5. And from a negative 8 to a negative 13, I had to subtract 5. I have a common difference of a negative 5. We first need to write a sub 1. a sub 1 is 2. Then my recursive rule for a sub n is I take the previous term, a sub n minus 1, and I'm going to subtract 5. Write a recursive formula or rule for the sequence, then find a sub 7. I'm going to list my terms, a sub 1, a sub 2, a sub 3, a sub 4, and a sub 5. Then I'm going to find a common difference. Plus 4. I'm going to add 4. I can see that I'm going up 4 each time. So my common difference is 4. To write a recursive formula, I first of all write a sub 1. a sub 1 is 11. Then I write a recursive rule for a sub n a sub n is equal to a sub n minus 1, which means the term before, plus the common difference, or minus the common difference. In this case, it is going to be plus 4. Now I'm supposed to find a sub 7. a sub 7. Well, I know that a sub n, which means any term, plus the common difference, 
will give me the next term, a sub n plus 1. So if I'm looking at a sub 5 as being a sub n, a sub 5 plus my common difference, which is 4, will give me a sub 5 plus 1, or a sub 6. a sub 5 is 27 plus 4, and that's going to give me 31. So a sub 6 is 31. a sub 7, I will add 4 to that and get 35. So a sub 7 is 35. Write the first five terms of the sequence defined recursively. a sub 1 is equal to 24. We have our first term. a sub 1 is 24. We want to find the other four terms, a sub 2, a sub 3, a sub 4, and a sub 5. We have a recursive formula here of a sub n, which is any term in the sequence, minus 4 will give me the next term. So that means a sub n, if it was a sub 1, 24 minus 4 would give me the next term of 20. 20 minus 4 would give me 16. 16 minus 4 would give me 12. And 12 minus 4 would give me 8. These are the first five terms of this sequence.